guys, I hope that you guys are doing amazing wherever you are in the world. My name is Boom Shikha, as always. And in this video, I want to speak to you guys about something really different, something that I haven't spoken about previously. It's a really important to topic to me, and it's also a really hard topic to talk about. So I hope that you'll forgive me if I, you know, if I don't do a very good job of it. From the time when I was a really, 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 really young girl, um, I would say since I was like 9 or 10, there was this voice inside of my head that would always tell me that I was ugly. And I am not doing this video to get accolades from you guys and say, oh no, you're beautiful, you're great. I'm not doing the video for that. I know who I am now. I know what I look like. I don't need any kind of comments from anyone in the world to tell me what I look like. I don't need people to tell me that I'm beautiful. That's not the reason for this video. So. I mean, if you do tell me, that's fine. I'm not going to hate you for it. I'm just saying that that's not the reason I'm doing this video. The reason I'm doing this video is because when I was a child, I mean, when you're a child, when you're a girl and you're 10, how can you think that you're ugly? How does that thought even come into your head? How do those ideas or processes come into your head? You're 10. Where did it come from? And at that point, when I was 10, it was the 80s or the 90s. I mean, it was early. Yeah, it was 90s. It was 93. I was born in 83. So it was 93. There was no internet. There was very little TV. I mean, I w we did watch a lot of TV, but mostly cartoons. So where were these messages? Were, where were these messages coming from? Now, I'm going to say certain words in, the, in this video, and I'm going to say it because it's really important to say it, but I'm not saying it because I want to berate anyone or I want to say things against someone because everyone is doing the best they can. I'm just saying these words because I want... To bring up an issue that's so important and that is that I think these words of ugliness and self-hatred came from me from my mother now give me a couple of seconds before I before you judge me before so I can explain myself my mother is beautiful as you can imagine she looks exactly like me I am her twin a lot of people will, will be walking down the street and my sister and I and my mother will be walking together and they will think we're triplets you know we all look we the three of us look really similar, but particularly because I'm the eldest, I look exactly like my mother. Or that's what everyone says. Like, you're a carbon copy of her. And I heard these word, words a lot when I was obviously 10, 12. When I was younger, I heard these words a lot. Oh my God, you're a carbon copy of your mother. Now, you know, I was happy to hear that because I loved my mother and I wanted to be more like her. But my mother used to say these words to herself all the time. She'd look at herself in the mirror and she'd say, oh my God, I'm so ugly. Oh my God, I'm so fat. Oh my God, I have all these freckles on my face. I have freckles too. And I love my freckles, but she hated them, right? Um, and so she'd be like, oh my God, my, my face is so fat. Oh my God, I'm so fat or I'm so ugly or my eyes are not so big or, or my lips are so thin and things like that. She'd say all these words to the mirror, not realizing that I was listening to them as well. Right. And as a 10-year-old or as a child, um, I heard these words. I heard these two phrases spoken all the time. My mom would say I'm so ugly all the time to herself. And I'd hear that I'm a carbon copy of my mother. Now you can imagine the conclusion that an intelligent child like me would draw from that. Basically, the conclusion was that I'm or I must be ugly as well. Because if my mother's ugly and I'm a, I'm a carbon copy of her, that I must be ugly as well. Right? And there was no way those words could, t there's no way those words could be taken away from each other because they were attached to each other in my head. Because I heard them so often, repeated over and over again. Any single time, any time I went to visit any of our friends, my family friends, my parents' friends, my, my own friends, you know, they'd see my mother and I, they'd be like, oh my God, you look exactly alike. You're going to look exactly alike when you, get, when you grow up. And I would think to myself, I guess if my mother's ugly, I'm going to be ugly as well. Not that I thought of her as ugly, but she repeated that to herself so often, all the time. That's the only thing I heard from her, is her pain at the fact that she was so ugly. And everyone else didn't think that. I mean, I have pictures of her from when she was young, and she's beautiful, obviously. But that's the only word, those are the only words she used to say to the mirror and to myself. So obviously those are the only words that integrated with my consciousness. Now, I'm not saying this because I hate my mother. I hope that's not the idea that is coming across the reason I wanted to do this video is because it is imperative that mothers understand mothers have to understand that you cannot say oh you're so beautiful to my to your daughter you cannot say that to your daughter 
and then go to the mirror and say that you are ugly to yourself. It is so interconnected. We are so a part of you. We are genetically a part of you. We are physically and structurally a part of you. We are exactly like you. We look like you. I mean, the more I grow, the more I become like my mother in a lot of different ways, a lot of scary ways. And so we know as a child that if you think you're ugly, then we are ugly too. There is nothing, no one on the planet that could come to me at that point when I was younger. No one on the planet could come to me and say, oh my God, you're so beautiful. I would never believe any of those words. People came to me all the time and said, oh, you look so beautiful. And I'd say, yeah, right. I know what you're really thinking. <laughs> a little bit paranoid. But that was a reason for it. You know, I had heard those words so often in conjunction with each other that I am ugly and you are a carbon copy of me that they could not be broken apart. And there's no way someone else could come to me and say, you're beautiful. I would not believe those words. Now, of course, I'm 35 now and I'm speaking about when I was 10, which is 25 years ago. I mean, that was a long time ago and it took me it took me, I think, 25 years to get to this point right now, I think, or even, I think I would say when I was 30, when I can finally say that, okay, yes, I can look at myself in the mirror and disconnect myself from my mother's image of herself and say, yes, I am all right looking, I am good looking enough to myself, I know what I look like, and it has nothing to do with the fact that my mother thinks that she's ugly, right? it has nothing to do, we are, even though we're carbon copies, and my mother still says the same thing, it's so funny because we'll go to parties or or weddings and things like that, and people are like, oh my god, she's a carbon copy of you. Um, and my mother like, no, she's not. Um, she's more beautiful than me, right? And I think to myself, seriously, like that, <laughs> every single time I hear that, I would think of my younger self. I would think of that poor little young self of mine who used to hear those words and who used to hate herself because she used to think, wow, I'm going to be ugly forever because my mother's ugly and I'm, a, I'm her carbon copy, so I'm going to be ugly forever too. The, that's a problem with words. They're so freaking powerful, especially when spoken by someone you care about and someone who is an authority figure to you. I mean, my mother was someone that I cared about, but also I trusted her judgment. And if she thought that I was ugly, inadvertently, then of course I was ugly. There's no way I would not believe her words, right? If she thought she was ugly and I am a carbon copy of her, then I must be ugly as well, right? Now, as I said, it's taken me so long, years and years, decades to get to this point where I can be like, okay, cool. I know what I look like. I don't need other people to tell me what I look like. I don't need other people to tell me I'm beautiful or ugly or fat or whatever. I know I can see myself in the mirror. Right? I can see myself based on reality. I don't need someone else to tell me. But it took me so long to get to this point. And that's the reason I wanted to do this video is because... I'm sure mothers aren't doing this deliberately. Of course they're not. You know, they, they love their children. They see their girls or their sons and they, or their boys or daughters. And they look at them and say, oh my God, you're so beautiful. I mean, I know my mother used to think I was beautiful. From the time I'm young and to right now, she thinks that I'm, you know, I'm the apple of her eye, obviously. I'm so spoiled because of that. But she still says the same words to herself that, you know, she's so fat, she's so ugly. But I'm a carbon copy of her. Thankfully, I don't believe those words anymore. I'm, I don't believe that I'm ugly. But those words were so powerful for me. And they held me back in a way for so long, right? I wouldn't go to do all these different things because I was afraid that people would look at my face and would have to be around my ugly face. It was, it was very debilitating in terms of my self-esteem. The reason I'm doing this video is not to put down mothers. Mothers are amazing. I love mothers. They're so powerful and so... They have so much power at their fingertips that they don't even realize, you know. The words that they speak are so powerful. And so I really do want to implore um, all mothers out there to, s to be careful of the words that they use, especially around their girls, especially around their daughters. Because right now, in this world that we live in right now, there are a lot of things telling them that they're ugly, that they're fat, that they're ugly, that their lips are too thin, you know, they should get a Botox injection here or there, or their eyes are too big, or their eyes are too small, or their nose is too big, or you know, their nose is not pointing enough, or their well, there's a billion messages coming at us. I mean, when I was 10, as I said, there wasn't that much, you know, that much prodding me and telling me that I'm ugly. But now, oh my God, look at all the magazines, the advertisements, advertisements, um, messages from all the celebrities. There's so much going on in the world right now that a 10-year-old right now is under a barrage of information telling her that she's ugly, right? Her mother doesn't even need to say anything. But if her mother was telling her that she's beautiful or was telling her that it doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter if you're ugly or beautiful. 
what are you doing with your life right kind of thing but if your mother wasn't also adding on top of all of those negative images or messages i think that'd be so much better right and so if you could just as a mother pay attention to your words towards yourself not towards your daughter if you're telling your daughter you know you're, you're beautiful and you're telling yourself that you're ugly right in front of her there's no point you've just negated all those words that you've told your daughter there is no point telling yourself that you are ugly if you if you want your daughter to think that she's ugly then do that but if you want your daughter to have you know to believe that she's fine or she's not ugly or she's good enough she's worthy then use proper words for yourself as well it's really important that your own words your own your words for yourself are very carefully chosen especially in front of your daughters it's so so important i think it's more important to me what my mother says to herself or what my mother said to herself when i was younger than what anyone else on the planet said i mean my, my teachers could say something my my friends could say something the the tv could say something and i didn't care about all of that the more the most i cared about was what my mother said about things right and so that's why it's so important a mother is so important in the forming of a daughter's self esteem i think she's one of the most important things out there so if you have improper self talk just be careful about that it's more important than you can imagine to be careful of your words as a mother again i hope this makes sense i am not berating mothers out there i know they have a really tough job already I mean that's one of the reasons I'm not becoming a mother because I know how hard it is to be a mother and to do a good job. So I'm not berating mothers. I know that they're doing the best they can, but if there's something that they can take on as a lesson from a daughter from a long time ago who wished that her mother would have more positive self-talk, um then hopefully that works out. Hopefully that's something that that came came across in this video. Again if you guys have any questions at all please message me anytime um as i said this is a hard topic to speak about so perhaps i didn't do a very good job but if you did have any questions let me know if you have any comments please below please comment below and i shall see you guys in the next video bye for now